What I'd like to share with you today is uh, three things that we see happening in the market. And we see this uh, rush to conservative conservatism, right? In other words, hunker around things that you know. And the benefit that that drives for HP is that we're such a well-established partner in the, uh, in the marketplace and we have such well-established partners like MTB that it, uh, it allows people that comfort feeling of knowing <clears throat> the fact that they invest in our products that we're going to be there and be able to support them. The second thing that we that we see is this rush to mobility. Like most of us today carry a BlackBerry, we have a desktop, we have a notebook, we have a, a, a number of different things out there. And we see this category of netbooks really starting to uh, to take off. So it allows cost reduction, and we see digital print becoming more pervasive. Uh, we see this rush to color. We see this rush to uh, digital print from uh, from analog print. And we see companies being able to take significant chunks out of their, uh, their printing expense. The last thing I'll mention is, and, we, uh, and this may apply somewhat to small businesses, but you see data center consolidation. You see virtualization becoming the core, or, uh, or certainly the key term that's happening within, uh, within businesses. Five years we've been able to reduce our data centers from 300 to five and our applications available for people from 6,000 to less than 1,000 applications. And we've been able to take out an IT budget that was uh, almost $8 billion to bring it to less than $1 billion from an IT perspective. And so what the company's starting to do with that is, at least from an HP perspective, is we're not just taking those raw OPEX dollars out of the equation and putting it into earnings per share, but we're reinvesting all those savings from an IT perspective back into the company.